Hey guys, this weekend I started a backyard garden. I love growing fresh vegetables. It makes my soul very happy to get to interact with nature in that way. I know it's silly, but free food, right? We live in a subdivision and our yard is sod and I really didn't want to ruin it. We had talked about doing raised garden beds, but again, the sod. A few years back, I had grown tomatoes in storage containers and I thought I would do that again. So I thought I would take that concept and add upon it to grow more than just tomatoes. I was thinking of low maintenance, easy to grow vegetables that we would get plenty of throughout the spring and summer season. And ones that we would actually eat. Cucumbers and squash both grow really, really well here, but we don't eat a whole lot of them. So I didn't feel like it would be beneficial for us to grow them if we're not really gonna eat much of them. So when it, after thinking about everything I could grow, I decided to go with green beans and tomatoes, of course, because we love tomatoes. So a quick trip to the store and a little bit of work later, we have two storage container planters, one with tomatoes, one with green beans. They are sitting out on our back patio in full sun, so they're gonna be perfect right there. And I just wanted to share with everyone what I did and how I put mine together and how they're gonna work. So what are you gonna need to start these planters with. A solid color storage container. I like to use the gray, but you can use whatever color you want. I wouldn't do black though, because it'll get too hot and it'll roast your vegetables. Plain gravel or rocks, potting soil, a drill and a drill bit, plants, and what I'm calling plant accessories, such as tomato cages, plant food, anything that'll go with your plants. And then as an optional thing, you can have two liter bottles and I'll talk about why those are optional just in a little bit. Now that you have everything gathered that you're going to need, you're going to start by putting one to two inches of gravel in the bottom of your container. We also added coffee, eggshells, and a little bit of ash to the gravel to add extra nutrients as the plants soak up the water from the gravel. You do not have to do this, it's just something we already had and we wanted to go ahead and add to them. If you're using the two liter bottles, you'll cut them in half, move the rocks around them, making sure they're sitting all the way at the bottom. So you want the actual inside of the two liter to be open and rocks to be around it holding it in place. This just gives you a little bit more water reserve for your plants. Once you finish that, you'll take the drill bit and just above where the rocks are, you're gonna drill one single hole. I did mine on the long side in the middle, but you can put yours wherever you feel is best. The next thing is you just fill the rest of your container with your potting soil. You'll pat the soil down to make sure it's all nice and even and in there. So once the soil's patted down, evened out, you're gonna plant your plants as directed you're welcome to use plant food if you want. Just plant your plants. If your planters aren't where you're going to put them, now is the time to move them. Before you add any water, move them where they're gonna stay. Because once you start adding water, they're going to get very, very heavy. And once they're in place, then you water, water, water. Water the planter until the water starts to come out of that hole that you drilled. That lets you know that your reservoir is full, your soil is nice and moistured, and your, I mean, it's impossible to get too much water. It'll just drain out. If you need tomato cages or supports, anything else that you need, add it now. And then you'll just wait for your plants to grow. Add water about once a week or when the top layer of soil starts getting dry. That's it. It's so easy. They're so low maintenance. Yeah, it looks kind of weird having a couple of storage containers on your back patio or wherever you decide to put them, but they work wonderfully. So why do I love this process so much? The gravel acts as a water reserve, 
for your plants. So they're always going to have plenty of moisture as long as you keep it watered about, like I said, once a week or when that top layer is starting to get dry. The hole keeps the planter from flooding the plants if it gets too much water. The soil wicks up through the gravel and provides plenty of water to your plants. And you use gravel instead of just filling the whole thing with dirt because as water flows through, the dirt could wash out, but if you have gravel down there, then it just gives it some extra space and extra rigidity. I put my planters under our awning, so that way when it rains, they'll get the water that comes off of our roof. Weeds have a much harder time taking over, if you get any weeds at all. And since it's all fresh soil, if you do get a weed, you just pull it out super easy and it's taken care of. The last thing I did is after our planters had been outside for about two days, I wrapped them in plastic wrap and made them into mini greenhouses for the plants. You should not do this long term. And I'm only leaving them on until we get past the freeze that's coming this weekend. I will also be draping a sheet over the planters that evening so they won't freeze and I won't have to start all over again. We are also about to start a composting bin and I plan on taking you along for that as well. I'll probably do a full on tutorial on that one. This one, it was raining really bad the day that we actually did them and so I forgot to film. So that was my bad. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated as they grow and I'll show you guys our first harvest. That's all I've got for you guys today. I love you. I'll see you next time.